Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the series finale once again. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Okay, so the photos we're going to be talking about and the information we're talking about is coming from two sources. One is Canada Graphs, you can follow his Twitter below and also check out his blog because we're going to be reading off some of the blog and also going over some of the photos. There is much more there. There is a lot of spoilers if you guys want to go fully into it. I'm not going to go into like full spoilers, there's going to be big spoilers in this video but I'm not going to go over like absolutely everything to ruin the whole finale for you guys because I wouldn't do that. However, go check that out if you want to get into the nitty gritty of everything that went down in the finale filming over like this one day and then there's going to be more days coming out in the next few days on his blog so stay tuned on that but also the other source is frog photos frog photography i used them the other day they have some amazing photos that we're going to be going over but for now let's go ahead and get into this so we're going to talk about frog photos first photos actually at the start of this video so this was from like a week ago or so on the 18th i believe they were filming and there was some interesting stuff that went down and i meant to make a video about it but i never got around to doing it however so this set was very interesting so it was a jungle river set so it was like in the middle of a forest and there's a river and i believe some of the people on the set were like wading through the water and stuff but there was a big action scene going down and there was a bunch of rubble everywhere and people were scattered all around in it so now let's look at some of the photos so you can see here we have Lena on the ground and Nia is next to her and obviously you got the camera guys and you got the sound guys just surrounding it and this led to a lot of speculation when this first came out that maybe Lena was dying because there was a shot where like she was on the ground and they would just do makeup and stuff to make her look like she had been you know in rubble and like had been hit by all of it so they made it look like she was dying and people started speculating about that but I think it's pretty clear that she survives, although it's a very close call in this instance. And some interesting stuff is going down with Lena in this finale because it seems like there is some differences. But they weren't the only people on this set. Alex was here, you can see in this photo. And just next to her, also Kelly is seen in her Guardian suit. Seems like maybe Kelly and Alex come to the rescue along with Supergirl who you see in this photo, really great photo and Melissa's face looks like she is very shocked. I presume they're filming at this point, however I guess there's a chance because the cameraman is right behind her that maybe they weren't filming and this was just like after the shot and her reaction is just still pretty similar. But that's what kind of went down, also we know Brainy and March from Manhunter on the set from this photo. And so they were actually in the rubble as well. So it seems like maybe one or two of them weren't in the kind of destruction and maybe they saved them or there is a high chance that they were all there. I don't have like the exact details about what everything went down in this scene, but it looks to be very interesting and very destructive. So let's move on to the next photos. So again from Frog Photos, this is from like a week later. And so as we talked about in my last video that went up two days ago, well, we have a major returning villain from Supergirl and from Crisis on Earth X. That is none other than Overgirl. And now we see the first official look at Overgirl in this photo and it's a great photo and you can properly see her in her full costume. I don't believe this is actually Melissa. I mean, it could be, but presuming with the mask on, I'm gonna guess it might be the stunt double only because the mask is on. But nevertheless, you get to see like the full Overgirl outfit and she is going to be fighting seemingly alongside two other villains that being Nixley and also Lex, which you can see in this photo and apparently they're fighting off against Team Supergirl who is all suited up and like everyone is there and this was on the day when mon was there, Wynn was there and so it was like absolutely everyone including James, James came back for this scene and so the finale is going to be mad, it's going to be action packed and you're going to have like three villains as far as I know, there could potentially be more and it's just insane that somehow Overgirl is back and I have no idea how she is 
like I explained last video, she should have been erased when Crisis happened because Earth X probably doesn't exist unless this is like a new version of Overgirl from somewhere else. But she still has the kind of sign on her chest, which is the Earth X sign. So I don't know what's going on, but I'm very much so looking forward to this. This is like, I think the most exciting thing that I've heard about Supergirl's new and final episodes so far. So looking forward to it. But let's move on to Canada Graphs' blog, and so, like I said, this is going to be in the description below, but this is for the scene that they shot, I believe, on the first day they were filming, like, everything you saw, including all the leaks recently, like, that I covered, I believe this was all on that first day, and then the next day, they did the scenes with, like, the funeral scenes, and, you know, the day after they did the overgirl scenes that we were just talking about, and so... This is what Canada Graph says on his vlog. I caught up with Supergirl filming episode 20 of season 6 as they were filming scenes at the Oceanic Plaza. So that's in Vancouver, of course. And so this was actually the day after they were filming at the funeral set, which we talked about like a couple of videos ago. And we're actually going to get into in just a bit because this is obviously like a slight reference to it. And I feel like I need to acknowledge who potentially that funeral could be about because it's a big question right now and we got a few more things to go by and I'm pretty sure some stuff I've said in the past maybe isn't going to go down but as I mentioned I'm not going to go into like absolutely everything in regards to what goes down in Canada Grass's blog but the main piece of interest that I wanted to bring up in this video was this so in the first scene of the day Lex Luthor was out there causing mayhem while Lena was seemingly trying to summon something apparently She's a magician now. This isn't the first set where she's been doing things like this. And uh, Lex moves towards Lena and aims his arm cannon at her before Akrata jumps in and saves Lena. And then there were some scenes that we are going to go into, but you can read it on the blog. But let's skip over to the next bit I want to talk about. So they wrapped up with the actors scenes for the day with Guardian, Sentinel, Dreamer and Martian Manhunter fighting off something on the same plaza. So as I said, they were filming something at that plaza earlier, which I'm not going to reference, but you can go check out on the blog. But basically, there's this place, there's going to be a scene before this, and they're going to be doing something very different from fighting, right? Although they filmed it before, Canada Graphs actually just clarified later in the blog that this is actually happening before the event that happens later which obviously like i said before you can read it in the blog so hopefully that clarifies that for you guys so obviously they were just filming out of order and so it was like a big kind of action scene on the plaza and it seems like the fighting someone canon grouse wasn't able to find out who exactly it was but it is one of the villains of the episode and i would presume it's probably overgirl and they might have done some of the shots later Maybe, like, she's flying in the air and maybe they do that on the green screen or something inside and that's why, you know, we can track down who the villain was. But I think it's very interesting what Canada Grass brought up in regards to Lena because it seems that she is a magician or something. Now, you can see this photo right here and there is, like, a series of photos on the blog and you can go look at all of those. However, it's interesting. She's holding out her hand and it seems like she runs into the middle of the road and she does something and apparently it might be magic. Now, I have no idea how she's going to get magical powers or if she's like a magician or something, but it seems like Lena has gained some sort of powers by the finale and also Kendall Grouse said apparently she's been doing some weird stuff like this on other sets. So, I don't know how she gets powers, but it's interesting and it's going to be a new thing for Lena. And I guess it's pretty cool because it's heading towards, like, the final episode. Well, this is the final episode, so it's going to give Lena something new to do. And I guess she's going to be more involved in, like, the actual fighting now she has powers. And she's probably going to be facing off mainly against Lex. So, this is very exciting. Now, the last thing I wanted to talk about was the funeral scene that they did the day before this. And so what we have been theorizing about is like who was the one who died. So they somehow have to have links to Monel, Wynn, and James because they were all in funeral attire at the funeral. 
However, there is a chance, and I've referenced this before a couple of days ago on my stream, that potentially those guys were here already and they're just like plus ones to the funeral. So maybe they don't know the main character. However, I think they should know the main character and so people have been theorizing maybe it will be Cat Grant who dies. Although I don't think Callista Flockhart's going to show up, so is it going to have that much impact? I'm not sure. But that is someone that has a link directly between Monel, Wynn, and James because they've all worked for her at one point. So obviously that is like the best connection. People were theorizing, and I theorized on my stream, maybe it was Eliza Danvers. But she actually showed up on the set and she looks alive and well, so I wouldn't say it's definitely her. And who else could it be? Well, we know that William was on the set and there's been speculation going around that it could be William. And I haven't like specifically dug deep into the spoilers for this because I don't want to know who it is who's actually dying. I have some ideas in my head and I've heard some things. But for now, I'm going to say like Cat and William is probably the best bets that we got as right now, even though William doesn't have like very direct ties to the other guys who are returning in this episode but like I said maybe they were already here and this is like a plus one type thing just to pay respect to the rest of the team Supergirl's friend that they've potentially lost. So that's about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment subscribe and turn on notifications if you are new to not miss any videos and you can click on the top right corner of the screen to watch my latest video but for now I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.